In this video, I'm going to discuss IBGP Split Horizon. IBGP Split Horizon rule states that an IBGP router that receives a BGP route from an IBGP neighbor should not advertise that route to another IBGP neighbor. So for example, this route here, I mean, in this topology, R1 is peering, has an I, has an EBGP peering with R2, and R2 has an IBGP peering with R3, and this is not actually not there yet. This line here, and R3 has an IBGP peering with R4. So R1 is advertising this loop back to R2 and R2 is advertising that loop back to R3. But R3 will not advertise that to R4 because the uh, split horizon, BGP split horizon rules st states that R3 is not supposed to advertise that to another IBGP router or neighbor. So let's see if that is actually true. So let me just show you the topology here. So we see that R1 is advertising that loopback IP address into BGP and we see that it has an I, an EBGP peering with R2. This is R2 here, which is 10.10.12.2. Let me go to R2. So we see that R2 has a peering with, has an an ABGP peering with R1. This is R1. And R2 should learn about that loopback uh, address, which is it does. And so in this case, you know, R2 is the, has received that route from, from R1. And R2 is a, is, has an IBGP peering with R3. So R2 is able to send that route to R3. Let's check that here. So yeah. R3 is receiving that route via R2. By the way, uh, R2 and R, R2 and R3 and R4 are using loopback uh, address to st establish their peerings. As you can see here or as the source to, as the source address to establish their peerings. So this is, uh, R2 and this is R4. Let me go to R4. So we see that We see that R3 is learning that route via R2, but from R4, we're not seeing that route. So uh, BGP split horizon rule is working as expected. So what we can do is actually 
So for R4 to learn that route from R2, we need to uh, create a full mesh. So we need to actually establish a peering between R2 and R4. So that's what I'm going to do here. So I'm going to go to R2 and establish a peering with R4. And from R4, establish a peering with R2. Let's check the output of show IP summary. So it will take a while. Okay, so we see that R2 has now has a peering with IBDP peering with R4. So from R4, we should see now we see that route. So the next step is R2. So now uh, we have a full mesh uh, topology. So let me go back here. So the problem with full mesh topology is that we need to have a lot of IBGP neighbor adjacencies. And we actually, there's actually two techniques that we can use to reduce that uh, peerings. One is BGP route reflectors and configurations, BGP configurations. So I'm going to talk about these in the in the future videos. But yeah, that's it for this video. I just wanted to show you how. Uh, the BGP split horizon rule works and uh, what we need to do to to actually uh, you know address that that problem when I say problem uh, R4 is not able to you know, learn the route from R2 in this case. So we need to have a full mesh connectivity or topology between these routers. All right. So yeah, that's it in this video. Thanks for watching.